The Grand Canyon, Northern Arizona, USA. One of the great natural wonders of the world. A place full of magic and mystery. There are about 20 layers of rock creating a kaleidoscope of colour. Each layer holds its own secrets to the Earth's past. The white band of rocks at the top are about 250 million years old. As we go down, the rocks get progressively older. The band at the bottom, by the Colorado River, is over 2,000 million years old. But what carved out the land? The Colorado River is an extraordinary excavator. It acts both as a knife and as a conveyor belt. At full flood, it carries 55 million tonnes a day. It would take about one and a half million trucks to shift all that material in 24 hours. So we have our layer cake of rocks that's been lifted hundreds and hundreds of feet above sea level, and we have our Colorado River, our knife, that is going to cut into that layer cake of rocks. Well now, as the Colorado River was doing the carving, our, layer, our rock layer cake wasn't sitting still. It was still rising up at the same time. So we had two processes working together here. The river cutting down and the Colorado River or the Colorado Plateau gradually rising up under the cake. If the Colorado River was the only thing working on the Grand Canyon, it would look just like this knife cut, a mile deep and 100 yards across. So obviously, Something else has been going on as the river has been slicing down into the plateau here. Now, other forces of erosion have taken that little slice that the Colorado River has carved and gradually widened it out into the Grand Canyon that we see out there today. The other forces of erosion are rain, ice and wind. Even the roots of trees can break rocks. In millions of years from now, rolling hills and gentle valleys will replace the jagged edges. Erosion created the Grand Canyon, and erosion will destroy it.